on this episode, we are house hunting again. We've had a small reprieve due to the fact that we didn't have any money. Um, <laughs> so we're, uh, we're back in the game, as they say. So we're headed to a little town called Taylor, about a half hour from our current uh, abode, to check out some, I don't know, pink house. Some, an old pink house, a Queen Anne revival. And um, she cute. She real, real cute. Yeah, the road's like this. Oh, yeah, the road. It's kind of windy. Yeah. I'm not, I mean. And, and the driver's like this. My, I mean, I drive fast anyways, but it's not a straight thorough there here. Mario Andretti would be proud. Right. Oh, you can't. Yeah. Are you looking right. for real? Well, right I wasn't now? paying attention. Look, like it's a roller coaster? Like you're going to fall out? Get the bonnet. Get on a Look, we're almost done. Look, look. There we are. I, look, I gained two minutes on the map thing. Yeah, that's because you're going warp speed. <laughs> so the town of Taylor is having a bit of a resurgence. The, uh, a, a, a bit of a what? Resurgence? No. No, no, no. That's not. Resurgence? Whatever. There's no A in it. The, like that re uh, it's just resurgence. Okay, it's getting fixed up. <laughs> it's a Texas term. So there's a there's a little company called Samsung that's building like a forty eight billion dollar plant. Uh, little company. Small. One. Little company. Uh, that yeah. nobody knows about. No. Yeah. So they've been broke ground over here to build the biggest building in in the United States. The thing is just massive. But it happens to be in this little town, so the real estate market has uh, jumped a little bit here. Um, it's on the outskirts of town. And it's a it's a plant. Uh, the town has like three stoplights. It's not that far out of town, <laughs> but um, I mean they do have a Walmart here, so it's it's a good sized town in terms of Texas. It's got a really cute little downtown square area with lots lots of really cool looking historic buildings. Um, it seems like there's a lot of people who want to preserve the history of the town here, which I love because most other towns around here are just tearing shit down or rebuilding new stuff so it seems that they really want to hold on to their heritage and like their history um so that being said there's a lot of really cool old houses here people have chosen to like buy and fix up and um but then there's like a bunch of them that are just sitting uncared for we don't know if they're empty we don't know it's really hard to find information on homes when they're not like listed on you know, the interwebs like Realtor or Zillow. It's really hard to find. But um, they've got great little antique stores and um, shops and restaurants. And, and they are to, they're trying to do a revival of this town. Resurgence. Fixing it up. Fixing it up because it will grow because of the influx of people from Samsung. And Taylor, of all places, not only is it uh, full of cool old antique stores and uh, a bunch of old historic houses, etc., it's actually uh, the birthplace of one of my childhood heroes, Tex Avery, the uh, illustrator that created uh, the Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, you know, all those things from our childhood. Plus, they have the best donut shop in town. I've never had a donut here, ever. We drove past a house the other day, and there was a... It looked like it was abandoned, and there was a bunch of buzzards on the roof. Typically, that's a sign, uh, you know, there's somebody dead inside. So, it might be in the market soon. We'll have to check it out. Um, we're going to go buy that house, because I've already driven past it last week, and there were no buzzards. So, we're, we're making a bet. We're taking a bet on to see who, if actually somebody lives there, because I think somebody does, and he's convinced they're not, and I'm going to make him go knock on the door. So, we'll let you know. That's after we go see this little gem uh, of a house. Uh, we'll right here. So, this is eight. Oh. Yeah, but I don't want to sit at the light. Alright. Why are you doing that? Well, because you're going really fast and it I, scares me. I wasn't even remotely going really. Oh, oh, oh. This is the other house. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh, yeah. Hang on, let me flip a bit. So this is one that we're trying to... Uh, locate the owner. Yeah, locate the owner. It had a small fire. But look at it. There's no way somebody lives there, right? Well, the lights are on. There's a car there. 
Oh, okay. well, that means somebody's there. That doesn't mean shit. People can't live there. Look at it. The whole roof is open. It's a small fire. It's fine. Bro, it cannot. You cannot. All right. Back to our normally scheduled program. Is that the bad shoulder again? Uh, so this is this is the old high school that uh, they closed down and turned it into like a mini mall kind of market thing. It's actually pretty cool. They built a new school. And wait, the buzzard house is right here. We're going to pass by the oh, buzzard house. All right, buzzard house. Okay, get your camera ready. You show them the buzzard house. So this thing. is the house we're trying to find it, who owns it. As you can tell by the vegetation, it uh, hasn't been lived in for a while. Built, uh, I don't know, 1908. It's historic Spanish style, but that, that's when they had buzzards on it. So I'm sure there's a corpse inside. We're almost there. Uh, yeah, I think we're in the wrong street though. Yeah, we're in the wrong street. No, we're not. It, what's Seventh Street? All right, all right. It says it's right here on the on the. Uh, in the westerly direction. Yeah, it's right up here. Oh my god, but the sun. The sun burned my eyeballs. She's burning my soul. So here's one across the street that's been restored. And there's a little dilapidated shack over there. And. Oh, there it is. Ah, that fucking drunk lady driving. Here we are. Beep. the yard. There's the utter lack of a garage. And then a third door. Stained glass windows are cool. The electrical looks a little sketchy. Clean your boots. They don't fuck with that. Oh, it was the official old lady. Uh, it's a title. It's a title. It's right. It's, it walks into the dining. Floor is as crooked as a politician. There's ten lights in here. Eleven. Don't see them. This is a beautiful. I don't think that's original. It's beautiful. Yes. Oh yeah, it's like sheet vinyl. Oh, that's awful. What's, that with, like what's with all the lights? I don't know. We were just <laughs> trying to figure it out right now. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> I mean, this is. <laughs> Look at the lights. What the hell's going on? That is bizarre. People's decor. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can hear me. Water heater. That makes sense. You want to go up back stairs? We can go up this chair and the other chair. Let's well, go. How about we'll come back down the other yeah. stairs? It was a long time ago edition. Oh, yeah. That's quality. That is. 
Wow, that's impressive. Bathroom with no windows. Interesting. Original transoms. the story is with that. Huh. Mattress has seen better days. Uh, always a good selling point. Uh, this is a nightmare. I really, I love that. I do too. I feel like this house actually has a lot of potential. Way more than I thought it did. Not with the price. No, wait, I know. Get off that bed, that's gross. You don't know what has happened on that bed. Yeah. Uh, it looks like murder. Hello, anybody here? Yeah, that looks like old wiring. Oh. Mustang book. Ugh. It's probably decorated. Pineapple light. Must be a good time around here. Yeah, it's got a good look, but it's rough. Yeah, that's a piece of cardboard. Quality construction. So you got this drain line that goes up. All the way up. And then ends up there in the nowhere. And no. Typically, the trailer houses are the ones that sit on the cinder blocks. Hello? Uh, yeah, that looks good. I don't know what that box is doing, but apparently it's holding something together. You have to blow it. Oh, well, here, blow it for me. You're gonna blow it or am I gonna blow it? You can blow it and you will get a witch. So literally, I forgot to do the wish. I better get another one. So, what do you think? Um, look at this ramp. This is not a um, garage for old cars, that's for sure. Uh, your Hearse will never make it up there. No. Um, my car can barely make it up there. Watch. Mm -hmm. um, what do I think? I think this house is amazing. I think it leads a lot of fucking work. Way more than I thought it did. So, scratch that whole thing when I said it doesn't qualify for home improvement because it fucking does. Uh, every square inch of it needs home improvement. <laughs> yeah. They're off their rocker asking what they're asking for it. Uh, yes. Why is that a common trend? Well, maybe that wasn't the asking price. That was the fix up price. Like what you got to spend in order to get it to live in. That would be, that would be more accurate. Actually. Um, ridiculous. A real estate advice with Lee. <laughs> With Lee. Um, I don't know. It's a contender, don't you think? For somebody other than myself, it's fine. <sighs> Bro, why? Why do you say that? Um, it's pretty rough. It looks like it was not taken care of for 
about 50 years and somebody put a cheap paint job on it. That's what it looks like. That's fallen off, by the way. Uh, the entire foundation is as crooked as a dog leg. Yes. Yeah. Look, dead possum's still there. Uh, right there. Oh, yeah, dead possum. That's right. Are you going to uh, go knock on the door? I am not knocking on that door. Why? Uh, because, well, you know, let alone the uh, the tattooed hoodlum going knock on a random door doesn't generally go very well in Texas. I fucking dare you. I double dog dare Ooh. you. I throw down the double dog dare. Nope. <laughs> you chicken shit. You do it. Walking around looking like a hoodlum, not acting like a hoodlum. Just fucking, it's all far of false advertising. Bullshit. Fuckface. The house is clearly abandoned. Nobody lives here. There is no... Sign there is no... at all. Videotape that. Oh, that's what it's he thinks someone died here. Dead. Period. It does not look like anybody lives here. He is refusing to go to the door. Period. You ever see the movie He's The Burbs? He's a chicken shit. Okay, follow me. Let me show you the other two. She called you a loser. Yeah, it's fine. I'm an alive loser. Phone died. Probably the ghost from the house that we were just looking at. The tour of Taylor. So what you come up with? What? Nothing. I'm just showing Laura the properties. So she could invest in Yeah, when uh, we drove past and there was a light on upside, that was actually the hole in the roof and the sun was shining through. It, yeah, it, it was it was not a light. It was, well, no, no, no. It was sunlight, sir. Because the whole back of it is broke uh, open um, because there was a fire. Well, here. I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say So this is another one we're uh, working on. Well, Laura's working on. I don't work on anything. I can tell you from being inside this one for the estate sale that this house is in way better condition than the other one. And and the fun fact is nobody's lived here in eight years, and I'm telling you that this house is in better shape. Haunted? No, no, not at all. Not at all. This is a much better house. Sure, it's next to the Sefco, but you know, come on. That's across the street. So I'll assume you're driving? Um, it's my car, I always drive. Do I ever ask to drive the hot rod? Oh. No. Would I ever ask to drive the hot rod? You won't ride in it. Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't ride in it when it's 106 outside because it has no air conditioning. And I am a princess. Who appreciates air conditioning. All right, where's your next friend? This is it. Right. This is it. So I, I will tell you that I have this... Unsustats... No, what's the word? Hang on, there's a word unsubstantiated no I don't even think that's the right word I have this gut feeling <laughs> All right, trust your gullet that that this is this is the one it is and I know you don't like it but I'm telling you this is this is the one it's not quite on the market yet there was a death in the family apparently so we're waiting for it to uh, go to market there was not a death in the family that's not what happened no one has actually lived here in eight years it was no it was they actually her husband did die but not in this house they never lived here all right well the hunt continues thanks for watching taylor town we'll let you know we'll keep you posted <laughs>